Hi guys, this is Chris from A Couple of Drips. Just a quick video for you here um, about a little something I've been developing. When I first started editing A Couple of Drips, um, I really didn't want to learn all of the keyboard shortcuts for Steinberg WaveLab Pro 11. And so I decided that I would get a Stream Deck and use the Stream Deck as basically uh, a keyboard extension for the keyboard shortcuts for uh, WaveLab Pro. However, when I got it, I discovered that there wasn't already, to my surprise, an existing profile for WaveLab Pro. Uh, so I've built one and I'm just going to take you through it. Um, if you'd like it, there's uh, a link below the video and it is available to download um, for a donation of £2 or above from my uh, Kofi page. Um, as I say, the link will be in the blurb. So I'll just give you a quick run through it. This is the main page, the main menu. Uh, this has your uh, navigation controls uh, at the bottom. Uh, then it has uh, some more transport controls um, on the next row. Um, and on the top row, it has all the links to the uh, sub-menus. So I'll take you through them from the simplest to the most complicated. Uh, start off the file management menu. This is just basically where you save, rename, export, import and revert if you want to abandon all your editing is. Uh, you've also got a link back to the home page, obviously. The tools menu, uh, this just has things like signal generator um, and insert files at certain places. Uh, and then the more interesting ones are we have the navigation screen, uh, which uh, allows you to quickly uh, zoom to uh, whatever zoom level you want. Uh, to jump to the last marker or the next marker, which if you're uh, scrolling and it suddenly zooms somewhere you don't want to find the last marker you put in is very, uh, very useful. You have option to follow playback or just go to wherever the cursor is at the moment or jump between clips, so on and so forth. Move to the start of the clip, move to the end of the clip. And then the main window, which I think a lot of people will find useful, particularly if you're, you're editing uh, a long piece of audio is the markers menu had to build these icons from the ground up uh, but basically these are all the uh, things for putting the little markers in the audio uh, the one I tend to use the most is the 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 pinkish uh, one third from the right uh, which is the um, exclude marker so if there's a section where you've fluffed and you want to miss it you can put these markers in on the original and then when you render the audio it will exclude this section. So there's also there's things like uh, to uh, bind the markers to the audio at the top, so you can bind it to the start or the end, um, or to uh, the actual uh, section of audio if you're moving things around, uh, so on and so forth. You've got your things for your generic markers, uh, which are standard markers that you can put label in, or your temp markers, which are the markers that don't save when you save the file, so beware of that. Um, playback markers where you want to start continue editing from so on and so forth so hopefully you'll find um, some of those shortcuts useful um, I'm open to suggestions on the Kofi page uh, if you have ideas of other buttons that you'd like to see um, added or other features you'd like to see added as I say at the moment it's only for the Stream Deck Excel um, but I may develop profiles for other versions of Stream Deck later. Hope you like it. As I say, it's on there for minimum donation of £2, but uh, give whatever you think it's worth, and uh, I appreciate your feedback. Uh, and obviously I will be updating this over time, and anyone who purchases it will get free updates for life. So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I hope some of you who use uh, Steinberg WaveLab find it useful. And uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.